Brent Tech here where tech is made simple. So because the OS installation images, ISO images that Microsoft rolls out can contain outdated anti-malware software definitions, once again for this month, Microsoft is rolling out a new Defender update with the latest security definitions for Windows images. And the whole reason for this, as we have spoken about previously, is because the first hours of a newly installed Windows installation can leave um, your system vulnerable because of a so-called Microsoft Defender protection gap where it can contain outdated definitions. Now, because of this, once again, as mentioned, the new definitions are rolling out for the anti-malware update package for Defender in the OS installation images. And the installation images support Windows 11, 10, Enterprise Pro and Home Editions, Server 2022, 2019 and 2016. And the updated Defender package version and security intelligence version is 1.417. Now, although this is the latest update for Microsoft Defender for ISO images, it's already a month old. Because if we head to my virus and threat protection, we can already see, if we get to protection updates, that I'm already sitting on security intelligence version 1.419. But although that's the case, this is still a move in the right direction because even though it's a month old, it will close the protection gap because ISO images, those Defender updates can be sometimes in some cases months old. So at least this is only taking you back one month, which does close the so-called protection gap as mentioned. And the package size is approximately 78.2 megabytes for ARM devices. 128 for 32 bit devices and 132 megabytes for 64 bit machines. And if you want the um, Microsoft Defender update for Windows operating system installation image, then yeah, you can see the different links for 32 bit, 64 bit, and ARM 64. And I'll leave this page linked down below and in the end screen. And I think this is a nice move. Microsoft has been doing this for their protection updates for ISO image files now for the last couple of months. And I actually think this is a nice move in the right direction. And it's good to see over the last couple of months as I've been posting that Microsoft is carrying on in this direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.